वेलकम टू कंट्रोल इंजीनियरिंग प्ले लिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टॉर्क वोल्टेज एनालॉजी इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर इन टॉर्क वोल्टेज एनालॉजी विल बी हैविंग एनालॉजी ऑफ मैकेनिकल रोटेशनल सिस्टम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम सो हियर आई विल बी कंसिडरिंग मैकेनिकल रोटेशनल सिस्टम एंड हियर आई विल बी हैविंग इलेक्ट्रिकल सिस्टम नाउ when we talk about analogy in between torque and voltage then in mechanical rotational system our input will be torque and in electrical system our input that will be voltage source and when we do torque voltage analogy at that time in mechanical rotational system our output will be angular velocity and in electrical system our output will be current passing through element now i'll explain you different mechanical rotational system analogy with respect to electrical system so here first case that we will consider is a mass which is having moment of inertia j so here one mass is there and that is having moment of inertia j and to this mass we are providing torque tau and because of that torque here angular displacement is theta and angular velocity is omega now in this if you calculate how much amount of torque that is happening then that torque is equals to moment of inertia into angular acceleration and angular acceleration that is rate of change of angular velocity with respect to time and that angular acceleration is also referred as d square theta by dt square so that much amount of torque that is happening with this mechanical rotational system now as if you want to replace this mechanical rotational system with electrical system in torque voltage analogy then here our input will be voltage source as input is there as torque in mechanical rotational system so here i will be considering voltage source as input and for moment of inertia here we will be considering inductor right so here we have inductor l and current passing through this inductor that is i now if you see this inductor then in that voltage that will be l d i by dt where l is inductance and i is current passing through this inductor and i is rate of change of charge with respect to time so in terms of charge this equation will be d square q by dt square right so when we do analogy of mechanical rotational system to electrical system at that time you see this moment of inertia j that is compared with inductance l this angular velocity omega that is compared with current i and this angular displacement theta that is compared with charge q so that is how analogy is there let us consider second element and that is dashboard or one can say damper so if we have mechanical rotational system as dashboard or damper as you can see it over here so dashboard is having damping constant b and if we provide torque to to this dashboard will be having angular displacement theta and angular velocity omega and in this if you calculate resultant torque then that torque will be damping constant b into angular velocity omega and this omega is rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time into dash port constant b means damping constant b 
Now in electrical system here we will be having voltage source which is what we are replacing with respect to torque. So this is voltage source and for damping constant B we need to replace resistance over here you see and current passing through this resistance is I. Now in this if you calculate voltage then voltage across this element that will be current into resistance R and we can say resistance R into current is rate of change of charge with respect to time. So now you see analogy in that this resistance is replaced by damping constant B. This omega is replaced by current I and this angular displacement theta that is replaced by charge Q. Now third case that we are dealt with to consider for mechanical rotational system that is of spring. So if we have spring and that spring is having constant K which is connected with the support and if we provide torque tau then angular displacement that will be theta and angular velocity will be omega. Now with this if we say restoring torque then that restoring torque that is k into theta and if you want to calculate this value of theta in terms of angular velocity then that will be integration of angular velocity with respect to time. So that is how torque that we can identify based on angular displacement and angular velocity and as if you want to replace the spring constant in electrical system then here we need to have capacitance connection for torque voltage analogy. Now in that if I say current is I capacitance is C then here this resultant voltage across capacitance that is 1 by C integration I dt and even we can say this is charge divided by capacitance. So here if you see the analogy then you see spring constant that is replaced by 1 by C, theta is replaced by charge Q and omega is replaced by I in torque voltage analogy. So whenever you do torque voltage analogy at that time this is how we need to replace elements moment of inertia with inductance L damping constant with resistance R and spring constant with capacitance 1 by C. So let me mention all the points which we have discussed here. So in this torque to voltage analogy this torque is replaced by voltage this angular velocity is replaced by current this angular displacement is replaced by charge. Moment of inertia J that is replaced by inductance L. Damping constant is replaced by resistance R. And spring constant that should get replaced by 1 by capacitance C. So this is how analogy that we need to provide for torque to voltage analogy. I hope that you have understood this video. If you have any query regarding this, you just place your queries in comments. Definitely I will get back to you if anything is required to short out over here based on your question. So please do give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video.